My name is Della Barbado, and I am the Director of Education for the Houston Chapter of the Native Prairies Association of Texas. And today, I'm going to share with you the wonder of insects. All insects are members of the animal kingdom, and they represent 60% of all life on planet Earth. If you get closer to insects and observe them carefully, then you will appreciate them more and understand their value. Insects are really interesting and come in many beautiful colors. We really could not live in a world without insects, literally. First, let's learn about their characteristics. Did you know that insects found in the Houston area mostly feed on the nectar of plants that are native to this area? This is because they have evolved here for thousands of years with the native plants that were here. Those plants are still here today. They can't digest the nectar found in landscaping plants used from other continents, such as rose bushes or crepe myrtle. That is why it is important to plant some natives in your yard. Spiders have eight legs and are not insects but they're just as interesting to study. Okay, so what are the bad things that insects do that bug us? First of all, some insects can bite, sting, or suck our blood. No need to worry about getting stung by a bee or a wasp. Bees and wasps will not sting while foraging for nectar and pollen. They only sting when they are protecting their babies near their nest. Some other bad things that insects can do. They annoy us like gnats or flies. And sometimes they can eat our crops or the plants in our yards. But the truth is very, very few insects are bad. Only 5% of all of the insects on earth are bad, but they give the rest a bad rap. Let's think about the 95% of all insects that do good things. They produce honey and silk. They pollinate the plants that make the food that we eat. Approximately 80% of all flowering plant species are specialized for pollination by animals, and mostly insects. And they affect 35% of the world's crop production. If you would like to attract monarch butterflies to your backyard or schoolyard, you can plant a butterfly garden. This is very similar to a pocket prairie. Milkweed is the only food source for the monarch butterfly caterpillar. Prairie parsley is a food source for both butterfly caterpillars and nectar for adult butterflies. Many of our native bees and wasps are solitary and live in a hole in the ground by themselves. Our native bees need native plants to thrive. This is not the case with honey bees which are social and live in a large beehive with hundreds of other honey bees. Did you know that the lightning bug, otherwise known as the firefly, is not a bug or a fly? It is a beetle. Studying insects close up is lots of fun. You can use a jar or you can make a homemade net to trap the insect, then carefully transfer them to a big jar so you can study them. You can even take a picture of it and put it on the iNaturalist app. Be sure to release all of your insects. So I just happened upon some milkweed and I saw this beautiful orange guy sitting up there. So when I put um, the jar around it, I saw that I got two for the price of one, there is a beautiful Katie did. 